There you go. Lucky you're the back floor. That magazine's gone through so much, and I'm not going to do anything for the magazine now. And I was hoping, because it was here, that we would be doing pieces from our upcoming book, um, which I'm not going to do anything from that right at this moment. But Tag Team Poets. Tag team, I got my, I got my yeah, I saw that. that. That's so, a, what a great idea. So I'm like, I'm going to have to wear that when I'm reading this. This other uh, wrestler stole my belt. Uh, it hit me in the head and ran, but we're going to get him next week, right in this very ring. And I'll be looking at some of the tag team poems. Uh, so so maybe if you, you. if you wanted to do some with me there, but... Yeah, let me know when you're ready. Sure. Um, I was thinking, if you, are there other people reading? I was just going to come up and read um, three now, because anybody who's heard me say this, I've got this crazy idea that I was going to write an element, a uh, poem for every element in the periodic table. <laughs> that's a good idea. And, and and everybody's like, that's really cool. Yeah. And, they're cool. and so um, I've got three, including one that I wrote for tonight, and I'm going to have music by John on this one. But the other two I'm going to do, I'm going to do this one from memory. Uh, this is number 50 in the periodic table. Okay, that would be, is that Xenon? This is 10. Yeah, no, okay, yeah. I know there's 118 of them, but yeah. yeah right. I, <laughs> I, I think it's 50 is 10, I think. I don't have that paper with it, but I'm pretty sure. So um, I also did this one, but I don't think my poets in Chicago appreciated it, so I'm going to hope that you guys do well. He was like, yeah, I guess we can learn something. Um, molybdenum? Molybdenum? How do you yeah. say it's molybdenum? Yeah. This is number 42 in the periodic table, M-O. I love this country. We should protect our rights. Gotta love our military, industrial, Complex. We gotta protect ourselves. I'll use everything I can to get the use out of you. I know I've used you, but it was wartime. You gotta understand. You gave me speed. You were light on your feet, but stiff as a board. And when things got hot, you stood up to anything. 
and I liked flexing my muscles with you. I know it was wartime, but I would have made a Japanese sword out of you if I could have put you together right. I know, I know, you say I need you for all my amino acids to keep my innards running. But I'm still on my wartime kick here, cause when I'm with you, that's when I need you most. People say war's no good, but I say you are the meaning of life. I love the U.S. of A. And with you on my side, we'll shove a boot up their ass. It's the American way. The millennium, they would use it to add to steel for strengthening for battles for wartime, which is where I got that whole rough. And it's, what is it? Is it a symbol? MB. M-O. Does it also make a great um, lubricant? Well, it's it's into that kind it's of thing. It's used in lubricants, too, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, everyone wants to know, like, what would I don't know. know. <laughs> and what I'm writing is not about absolutely everything about the element, so. Um, but this one I made a point to do to music. Okay, you can have my, my fancy drink for this, so. Thank John for the original music. Um, I have never written this one. We don't have a piano for the violin, so that's the best prop. <laughs> this is neodymium. <laughs> It's what? It's, it's, it's neodymium. Neo means new and what's the other word? charge my motor's going you get me charged up thinking it's a game you use my favorite gems garnet and crystals and you make every point seem laser clear your focus must be why I'm so drawn to you I must come to you until you're near And now you know how I love my glassware So I was sent to a glass blowing lathe And the glass blowers were making glassware With you on their eyes so that they could see They loaned me their specs I put them on and through the green gray specks the flame was gone. I did a double take. There was no glare, leaving me to see just molten glass. Cause on those glasses you weren't alone. You worked in pairs there so we could see. To the Greeks, you are a new twin, and I swear together is how you fit in. And all of this time, I was drawn to you, but now you've proven. You can help me see 